I've never been more optimistic about the future of our state. But look, we cannot rest on our laurels, everyone. You're going to decide who our senator is. This is going to be a turnout election. Who's more motivated? Is it them or us? That's right. And that's why it's time to retire Raphael Warnock and send her to Walker to the United States Senate. I'm Herschel Walker, and I approve this message. All right, that is a brand new ad for Georgia Senate candidate Herschel Walker from Georgia Governor Brian Kemp, throwing his support behind Walker. Joining us now, ahead of that December 6th runoff, is Herschel Walker. Herschel, good to see you. Hello there. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving, some time with the family. Um, probably not too much time, though, because that, that runoff's coming up. Let me ask you, you know, you've got this ad with Kemp, Kemp's campaign with you in person. Kemp's got the machine behind you that, that helped him. How important is that for you? Well, that's very important. Uh, and I was telling everyone early on, it's very important because no matter what, uh, we got to be with Kemp on a, on a federal level as he's doing the state thing, whereas Senator Warnock has not. He's been rowing the boat in different directions. So I want Governor Kemp, whatever he can do to help us to go take this over the finish line because being in a runoff is uh, something I think I was built for. I think Raphael went out a little bit surprised after spending that amount of money that he spent. But uh, with Governor Kemp and myself, we're going to win this thing. All right, talk to us about early voting started over the weekend. We saw a lot of college students who are probably home for Thanksgiving who were able to vote in that early voting. I believe it's over 180,000 people came out in early voting so far, which is quite a bit. How is that changing things for you? How is your message going so far to get people motivated to come out and early vote? Well, my message is that, is that you know, we want everybody that can to get out and vote because this is a very, very important election. I think everyone sort of know that, and that's the reason we want more people to get out and vote. Uh, you know, uh, with the kids home from school, we want them voting with uh, all the parents. You know, uh, I want everyone to have their voices heard and their vote counted. So I'm, I'm uh, out on the trail, uh, never stopping, and continuing to go out and get people out to the to the polls. You know, Herschel, the thing is, though, in a in a in a runoff election, you always have people that drop off, right? It's just it's a, it just happens every time. So how do you keep people motivated? You had the election; they were all fired up. Uh, you had Thanksgiving. Now you've got you were heading into the Christmas season, the holiday season. So what are you doing to get those people motivated and out to the polls and to vote early? Because I know last time um, we had a lot of Republicans that chose not to vote early. So what are you doing to target them and turn them out? Well, what I'm doing, I'm getting out on the bus tour. It was sort of like it was kind of weird. As soon as uh, we knew that was a runoff, we got on the bus tour and we started hitting the road again. We started letting the people know how important it was to get out the turnout, the turnout and, and have your vote counted because it is very, very important. This election here is about, uh, you know, about controlling the Senate in the sense that, you know, we're not going to let them take the Senate away. Right now we can have uh, everyone have the different committees. Now the committee could be even, whereas if if uh, the Republican lose that Senate seat, then the uh, Democrat got total control. Right now we got a chance to make all the committees even, that it, that we can still do some correction on it, and, and that's what I'm going to fight for. Right now this election is more important than any election I think we ever had in history. So it's not about Herschel Walker, it's about the people of Georgia, so that's the reason I'm getting out there to keep people out there to the polls. All right, so we know that former President Barack Obama is now coming to campaign for Raphael Warnock. Who's coming in for you? Who's going to help energize people? Well, I've been having a lot of surrogates that have been coming in to uh, get people energized. And, you know, with Governor Kemp and myself, we, uh, we're getting a lot of people out coming to uh, our rallies. You know, uh, you know, the vice, the former president is coming in, probably going to talk about me a little bit more. And I think that is great because they keep promoting me. And I want them to keep promoting me because since I win this Senate seat, then they're going to uh, be coming to see me later on in my Senate office, the one that Senator Warnock has got to leave. You know, Herschel, real quick, I've got about 30 seconds. You have another new ad out with Riley Gaines, the former college swimmer that didn't do as well because of a man that swam against her. How important do you think transgender issues are in a federal race for the United States Senate? Well, transgender is, is very important, but right now, this is not about transgender when you're talking about putting men in women's sports. 
that's a bi biological man that's in women's sports, which I did totally disagree. Senator why not voted for it. But right now I'm talking about taking biological men out of women's sports, let women get into their own sports. Right now we want to keep the rights of women out there and, and, and I'm not against anyone, but right now men should not be in women's sports. Okay. Herschel Walker, appreciate you joining us. Uh, look forward to catching up with you again before that December 6th key runoff. Hey, thank you, Don. Remember to tell them to go to teamherschel.com. We're not going to let them buy this seat. They're going to have to win this seat, which I don't think they can do.